What is frontotemporal dementia? Frontotemporal dementia is the name for a range of conditions in which cells in the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain are damaged. It is a less common form of dementia, which is more likely to affect younger people, those under 65. The frontal and temporal lobes of the brain control behaviour, emotional responses and language. In the most common type of frontotemporal dementia, there is early damage to the frontal lobes. This means that people experience changes in personality and behaviour and may lose their inhibitions. In the other types of frontotemporal dementia, there is early damage to the temporal lobes. People then struggle with language, for example, in finding the right word. Frontotemporal dementia is thought to occur when abnormal forms of certain proteins, including tau, which is also involved in Alzheimer's disease, build up in nerve cells. These proteins form clumps, which are thought to cause the death of nerve cells. Unlike most other causes of dementia, which are only very rarely hereditary, there is quite often a strong family link in frontotemporal dementia. Scientists have identified genes that are thought to cause frontotemporal dementia, but our understanding of this link is still limited. Frontotemporal dementia progresses at different rates. As more areas of the brain are affected, the symptoms of the different types begin to overlap. For example, someone may initially have changes in behaviour, but go on to develop difficulties with language and vice versa. The changes in behaviour caused by frontotemporal dementia can be challenging for the person with dementia and those around them. It is helpful to remember that such behaviours are a result of the condition. The person with dementia may not realise that their behaviour is unusual or inappropriate. Engaging someone in enjoyable, meaningful activities and hobbies can sometimes help to prevent behaviours that can be challenging. If someone has difficulties with language, try to pay attention to their body language or learn new, non-verbal ways of communicating. Alternatively, try finding better ways to communicate verbally, such as speaking in shorter sentences. A speech and language therapist will be able to help.